the Moria Gate Arch, uh, limestone arches across the river here. Uh, the limestone is about 35 million years old, these uh, short format formations, etc. Uh, this arch is 46 metres long, 8 metres high, and 28 metres wide, so pretty big. And we love it because it's got the name Moria in it from the Lord of the Rings. Moria! Cool place. Very large cave. Amy out of the depths of Moria's Gate. So this brown water behind me has got tannin in and the tannin makes it brown and it comes from decomposing leaves on the forest floor. Uh, so it's actually clean but it's just obviously got this brown tinge to it. Beautiful. So here we have the bridge of Khazadun. We're going down Fort Balrog. Okay, uh, more brown water so it's all along here. And it's actually uh, to do, like I said, it's the tannin, but it's because this area is so wet. I think this um, basin gets about six meters of rain a year. So that's constantly rotting all the forest floor, the leaves and things on the forest floor. And then that tannin that's produced is seeps and stains that water brown. Very interesting. Well, I think so. I'm not sure you will, but who knows. Hi guys, so we found the other arch which is called Opara, Operara Arch. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger. Um, it's actually 49 metres high, I think. 200, no, 48 metres high, 219 metres long, and 79 metres wide. Whoa. Check it out. I mean, you won't get it on video, but I'll just pan upwards. A bit. That's right directly above us. What this place? Amazing. We found a cave spider and he's pretty big actually. I reckon he's about the size of, he'd stand in my palm I reckon. Dad would not be happy about this. 